Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about Shiringomyelia. Shiringomyelia is a disease of the spinal cord involving the central gray matter of the cervical part of the spinal cord with a, with a cavity formation in the gray matter. We know that in the spinal cord we have central gray matter and peripheral white matter. Here there is cavity formation in the gray matter in the cervical region. The exact cause of syringomyelia is not known but it may be caused by tumor specifically intramedullary tumor, resorption of traumatic hematoma and abnormal cerebrospinal fluid dynamic onset is insidious symptom appear between second to fourth decade bilateral cape like or vast like sensory loss of pain and temperature sensation due to damage to the anterior gray commissure and decoding spinothalamic tract so pain and temperature will lost from the upper part of the body and but the tactile sensation is usually intact the shearing cavity may extend to the anterior gray horn leading to lower motor neuron lesion and wasting of the intrinsic muscles of the hand because of involvement of the brachial plexus lower trunk ulnar nerve so there will be wasting of the intrinsic muscles of the hand. Okay, so if you look at the picture here, this is the the radiology of the vertebral column. Here, what we are looking at that this is the cavity, this white image is the cavity here in the central part of the spinal cord in the cervical region here is the cavity okay this all a cavity here cavity 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 and this is the the syringomyelia it may extend to the thoracic region it may extend to the medulla oblongata may extend to the to the pons okay so we got cape like distribution of pain and temperature in both the extremities and reflex will be lost. Tactile sensation will remain intact, but pain temperature will be lost will be lost in both sides, both limbs, upper limbs. Okay, it does not involve the lower limbs. Cross section of the spinal cord at the level of the shearings. This is the cavity in the gray matter. This is the gray matter, this is the white matter cavity in the gray matter of the spinal cord. The shearing may be large enough to invade the lateral funiculus and lateral corticospinal tract leading to upper motor neuron lesion. Shearing may move caudally involves the lateral gray horn of the T1 leading to Horner syndrome because it may involve in this way the sympathetic innervation to the head and neck region. So we'll get Horner syndrome that is characterized by ptosis, drooping of the upper eyelid, meiosis, anhydrosis, and inophthalmos. Syringomyelia may extend to the pons, syringopontia, or to the middle of lungata, syringobulbia. Syringomyelia may be associated with Arnold Chiari malformation because a lot of patients with syringomyelia, there is some developmental anomaly at the base of the skull. So there may be herniation of the cerebellar tonsil or vermis. So that may lead to Arnold Chiari malformation. What is hydromyelia? Hydromyelia is a condition when there is enlargement of the central canal of the spinal cord lined by ependymal cell. <clears throat> so how can we diagnose 
syringomyelia, certainly the clinical features and we have to find out the radiology of the cervical region and basin of the skull, myelography and MRI. Treatment, it should be consulted with the neurosurgeon, drainage of fluid, decompression, laminectomy of C1, C2 if this is that is present. And that's all about Shingomyelia. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friend, friends. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.